By the end of the century, a billion students in primary and secondary schools will be in Africa, and the present infrastructures are inefficient, hence the need to improve on them. Now, this came up on the sidelines of the fifth Atfest Catalyst 2022. It brought stakeholders to discuss learning outcomes with thought leaders in the industry. Details in this report. While technology has transformed most industries, the same is yet to be said in education from this part of the world. Before COVID-19, investment in ed tech had mostly focused on deploying devices and connectivity without much regard to their use by teachers and students for learning. As these thought leaders converge on this whore, they seek to prefer tech and non-tech related solutions to these challenges. The panelists, drawn from Nigeria, Ghana and Kenya, judge on pertinent questions on why it is important to prioritize learning outcomes in Africa. They feel the continent is only playing catch-up since COVID-19. They also make specific mention of the curriculum which is not preparing students for the global stage. Our responsibility is not that the system is broken, but we as educators are not challenging ourselves to accommodate the needs of those we're teaching. And it comes down to the fact that we're not curious as educators. We're not ready to change our mindset. We don't understand that play is also about education. We have been brought up to think that if you're not a lawyer or a doctor, you're not successful. It can be done. It is doable. And in Kenya, we've just done a massive overhaul of the education curricula to embed IT right from the youngest age, to embed 21st century skills right from the young age, and we've changed the philosophy against which the education curriculum is anchored. Now, I'm sat here for a very long time. Nigeria hasn't done that. By recent standard, you are supposed to revise your curriculum every five years, okay? Now, the argument for curriculum change has always been that either we are behind uh, uh, the learning or there's no new technology that needs to be learned, uh, that there's new change in society that we need to respond to. The organizers say they are building technology infrastructure to stand as a robust alternative to the learning journey. It is also an interactive session as attendees are engaged on what they need to do should there be another public health challenge, as well as how to be ready for the global stage. We realize that having worked with schools for several years, there are a number of issues and challenges, contemporary and strategic challenges that the school experience, which technology have been able to solve some of these challenges from Eastern. But the ones that technology cannot solve, we bring our speakers together to discuss on these issues actionably, so that solutions can be created and the school owners and teachers seated here can go back to the schools, public schools, government schools across Africa to implement some of these solutions. The government needs to provide subsidies to these schools. If the school cannot fund the, the use of the digital platform, the government should be more proactive in subsidizing you know, service and software purchase. Nigerians are innately smart because when they go outside the shores, they outperform um, the environment where they are. But what we are lacking is that we're not teaching the foundations. We're not teaching people to be globally ready. We're concentrating so much on academics rather than skills you need to survive. Participants charge government across Africa on the need to realize that the future is based on education and there is an urgent need to invest more in it. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.